going live. Good morning. Good morning. Happy Monday, everyone. Hello. Hello. This is not this morning. Hello. Good morning. <laughs> Hi, everyone. Good morning. Welcome to, you. to Ask Us Anything. Hello. Hello. Anything Hello. probably related to nursing school. We are the nursing school show. We are here. We are here to answer nursing school related questions. I suppose you can ask us anything. But but probably we nursing tend school. We to related. focus on nursing related. Yes. Let us know what do you want to talk Ooh. about today with <gasps> Lou, nursing. You you passed your first year. Yay. I was oh. going to say graduate. You passed your first year. <laughs> Fabulous. Good job. Congratulations. Hi Marfa Joes. Welcome. Hello, hello everyone. Hi. For those that are, are you new, feeling hi. the summer vibes? That's a lot of hands. Hello! That's good a morning! Of <laughs> a very good evening. Okay, where are you at in the world? If All it's right. evening, tell us where oh, are yes. you. Oh, yes. Yes. Still haven't figured out the whole time zone thing, but it's good. Christina, hello. Yes, Nerit, any tips hello. for NCLEX? Hey, was that good what morning. we were going to talk about today? NCLEX? Was the NCLEX? Med Surge? NCLEX? I thought it was Med Surge, you guys. What did we say on Monday? I don't know. We I can thought talk. it was med surge. We can talk NCLEX. Well, we can talk about the NCLEX, too. Yeah, sure. I'll add that to the list. Philippines. NCLEX and med surge. Hey, Newroot. Let's do it. Where is my thing that says med surge and Good NCLEX? Morning, Good morning, Brenda. Hello. Where are you all joining from? From where? From whence? Sudan, hello. Hello, hello. Okay, so, yeah, I wanted to talk about med surge, but... All right. You guys also want to talk about NCLEX. That's I true. like alliteration, so med search makes sense on Monday. But there is no day N. that starts with an N for NCLEX. Yes. So I love that we can, question. We can do that too. Ah, I love that question. I'm a nursing student. Can you please tell me what I should be doing over the summer when Ooh. there's no school? What so that I, I be do doing? not forget the information. Mm, that's a great question. It is a fabulous question. What should I would love to I answer that. Be doing over so the maybe summer. today is just going to be a catch-all, you guys. Mm -hmm. What do you recommend for my first placement at a pediatric placement? Or final, sorry, my final placement. <laughs> what do you mean? Like, what do I recommend? I recommend you do your placement. <laughs> Brenda Martinsville. I don't know. Hi, Alex. Good Hello, morning. Philippines. Yay. Nursing is hard work. Yes, it is, but you can totally do it, my friends. Don't discount how much you Rosalind, know. Rosalind, watching from New York. New York, New hello, York. Hello, hello. Not New York, Rosalind. New York, but in New York. You know what I mean. Buffalo, you know. New York. You know. I've never been to New York. Matthew no. has. I have. I have one last exam left for fundamentals for my first semester. I've been struggling with frictional thinking. Are you think? Are you saying critical thinking? Fictional? <laughs> Fictional? Fictional Was thinking? Fiction? I struggle with that too. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> fictional thinking. <laughs> All of my thoughts uh, are fictional, in fact. <laughs> I want to formulate a study plan to... Oh, okay, yes, please. I have the same question. Okay, what? sorry. What was your question, Indiana Jones? Good morning, by the way. Indiana! Um... Mm, I'm looking forward to that movie coming out, by the way. Oh, okay. I'm glad that you enjoy our... Uh, how we break <laughs> things down. That's super... Okay, here's the thing, you guys. Okay. Um, when you're in nursing school, things can be very overwhelming, and um, I just, I say it constantly, like, it does not have to be as hard as we're all making mm. it. Nursing school does not have does to be as hard. Does nursing as school seem it. hard? You guys. Harder than it needs to be. It is hard. Because it probably is. It is hard. I want to tell you a story. It is I hard. I have a story. Okay, so a few weeks ago, um, you guys know this if you've been around for a while, so inside our Nursing Associates membership community, um, you've got, you've got a ton of stuff. Like we have our nursing tutors who actually get on tutoring calls with you, um, in groups so that you can ask your questions before your exams. Like we have tutoring calls. So here's what happened a few weeks ago. We had a group of students who were freaking out about their finals. And so we were all, um, they were all in a tutoring call talking about like, their concerns about their finals and what they needed to know. And they, none of them thought that they would pass and all these things. And, um, so our lead nurse, Nicole, she's walking them through everything and saying like, you guys, like, you know it, like, you know more than you think you do. Okay. Don't make it more complicated. Like, you know, this stuff, we've walked through this stuff. We've taught you everything you need to know. Fast forward, like uh, just a few days, like a week at max, all of them have taken their exams. Every single one of them passed. <laughs> So here's what we do. 
so often we like we see it all the time with our our members who get on our tutoring calls and they like they freak out and they say i don't know it like i don't know enough i'm i'm confused about this and this and this and like so often we just have to stop you and say like no you know it trust yourself okay mm -hmm. don't make it complicated don't make it more complicated than it needs to be don't freak yourself out before your exam like just <laughs> just having that person who can come alongside you like we do that says like no you know what like we've walked you through everything like you have you know this stuff you really do don't make it more complicated than it needs to be and so often we do that like we mm -hmm. get to our exams or we're, we're studying for our exams and we think that it's going to be this big deal and and we haven't studied enough and all this stuff when the reality is no you've put in the work you know it you know it more than you think you do and you are prepared and so it was just really funny that we had this whole group of students who are just rock star students. Like we've been walking with them and helping them and all these things. And every single one of them thought they were going to fail their exam. And then every single one of them passed <laughs> with flying colors, mm -hmm. which is just, it's so, it's just really shows you something, right? We're not saying that nursing school is easy by any means. We know nursing school is hard, but do not make it harder than it needs to be. It does not need to be harder than it needs to if be. If you have a group around you, if you have a community around you, if you're studying, if you're putting in the work, putting in the effort, yes. and doing the critical thinking, and really buckling down, then it's not as hard as you need to make it out to be. Yes. Just because everyone else is struggling doesn't mean that you need to be struggling. And this is what happens so often, Matthew, you mentioned this, this fabulous, a couple weeks ago, it's so funny that when students get inside our community, when they get inside our nursing SOS membership community, like you've got access to all the videos. You've got access to our nursing tutors. You've got access to our care plans, to our study guides, mm -hmm. to everything we offer. And it's so funny because when students get into our program, they're like, is it really, <laughs> like, is this really what I need to know? Like we literally give you step-by-step step how to pass nursing school we take the complicated out of it. And so what will happen oftentimes is you'll see people in your class, you'll see other people in your program freaking out. But when you're a nursing SOS member, you're like, am I missing something? Because I'm not freaking out because I have all these resources. Like, okay, I have, I have nursing tutors behind me. I have mentor behind me. <laughs> like I have this community behind me. It's kind of this funny thing. Like when you're inside the community, like, you guys, if you're a member, like, don't make it complicated, okay? Like, you have everything you need to succeed. <laughs> Narut, that is a great question. I'm sure Christina will answer that question for you. Um, I just want to put a cap on, on this, too, is that we talk about this a lot, is mindset. And mm -hmm. really, how much mindset does affect how you're studying and what you're studying. And really, even what you're retaining as far as w what's in your brain. Because if yes. your brain is too focused on worrying, on stressing out, then it doesn't have the capacity to learn the information you need to learn. But mm -hmm. once you have a, a, a community behind you, a supportive, encouraging group, as long as you're putting in the work and doing that, then you are you can allow yourself yes. to not stress out. And when you not stress out, then you can actually learn and retain the information. So it is, it is really, really important that you get that and that you don't stress out about it and mm -hmm. and get the right uh, information in and re really just focus on that. And really, if you know the information and you look around and say, oh, well, I'm in a better place or I, yeah. I am more calm and therefore I can learn the information better. Yes, because you can't retain information when you're freaking out, right, mm -hmm. in your brain. Not helpful for you. Uh, Nirut, fabulous question. What kind of learner am I? So I am very much an auditory learner. Like I, if I can listen to lecture over and over again, like that would be great. Um, the problem in my nursing school is that they didn't allow that. They did not allow us to record lectures because of like HIPAA stuff. And so that was difficult. It's just, that's, that was a struggle because <laughs> I really, I remember things really well when I hear it. And so for me, like talking it out even to myself teaching someone else like teaching you guys like teaching the concepts you are learning about to someone else is gold for whatever type of learner you are mm -hmm. um when you have the ability 
to teach someone else what you are learning about in nursing school when you have the ability to break these tough concepts down into more simple terms that like a lay person can understand. So if you were going to break down the pathophysiology of stroke or the pathophysiology of diabetes for someone who didn't even understand what those words meant, when you can do that, you are prepared for your exam, right? Like you, when you can get to the point where you can really break these concepts down um, for someone else in a very simple way, then you understand it really. Um, it's a really great way to study yeah. when you're teaching someone else. And so to, to recap on that, I'm sure all of you have heard about different learning styles. So the different, um, there are different methods of kind of breaking down the different learning styles. Mm -hmm. uh, in our membership community, we suggest that there's many free quizzes out there or whatever that you can you can look at. But your nursing school probably gives your, you one. Your too. nursing school. Have you heard of it about this? Let us know if you've heard about the different learning styles and what learning styles you've heard of. Uh, a lot of times, it's broken down into like the the different response or the how does how does it how do we say it? Um, like yeah, you, there's four main categories. Like how right? you retain yeah, information. Yeah, how you retain information. So uh, there's... there's Like a picture learner. Yeah. You could be a word learner. So Niroot, actually, inside our community, um, in the study plan step, mm -hmm. okay, inside the community, have you looked at this yet, Niroot? Um, when, uh, in step number three, when we're helping you make your study plan, we walk through what how you learn best like how do you learn best and we mm -hmm. help you figure that out so that you can then study in that way yeah so there the way that we break it down is four main categories there's movement yeah if you're a there's movement a learner word learner where it's really focusing on the reading and, and writing of the things there's mm -hmm. there's the um auditory or the listening learner right that's, that's what me. christina is where really listening to it and then there's the uh, the, the visual mm -hmm. learner, the picture learner, picture learner, where, where you see by like drawing things out. Yeah, like mm -hmm. different images is really what captures um, the information, and you can mm -hmm. retain it better. So, and the thing with these, Nibiru, like the thing with modes of learning like this is that so many of us are a mix of them. Mm -hmm. So, and you do want to mix them up. Like we say this inside step number three in the community, like mix them up. Okay. When you are, um, when you are teaching someone else, you're not only processing and critically thinking about it, but you are hearing yourself talk. You are then answering their questions. You can draw things out for them. Um, it's just, and, and, and you can like demonstrate things too. Let's say you're, you're teaching someone else how to, you know, how to do a nursing skill, how to assess something. Like we always recommend when you were working on your head to toe assessment, when you're in nursing fundamentals, when you're, when you're practicing your head to toe assessment, mm -hmm. talk it out as you go, like explain it as you're doing it. Um, because that's really going to help you understand it in a more thorough way. So when you are, when you are really combining those like types of learning or how you learn best kind of things, make sure that you are hitting different ones. Like you're drawing pictures, you're making concept maps, you're doing flashcards, you're teaching someone else, um, you're listening to it. All of these things, the more you can combine them, the better off you're going to be. Yeah, there's definitely overlap if you look in step three at the different four different ways that we break it up. There's a lot of overlap on some of the examples that we give you on on how to learn better and mm -hmm. you're just exactly what you're saying so um watching the videos turning yes. on closed captions so you see the words rewriting it down yes. just all of that together um really enforce it reinforces that information so and yeah that's good me rude actually i'm glad you mentioned closed captioning and in the community make sure you also download the study guides because those have the information that you need to study for your exam like that has all the information really that the videos do but it's in written form which is really nice so we do like inside the community as you know like we hit all those different learning styles we have visuals on our videos you know we we can draw concept maps for you if you get on a tutor hour with us a tutor call you know we can draw things out for you we can walk you through like dose count questions all of these things um, so you can listen to the videos you can watch the videos it's like it's really nice and when you're combining these learning like modes of learning, um, 
it, it just helps compound and really helps you retain the information better mm -hmm. when you can combine these things together and do it in all sorts of ways. It's, it's just very, very helpful to know how you learn best so that you can optimize that. Because you guys, like the problem with nursing school is that you learn so much in such a short amount of time that you cannot waste time trying to learn in a way that doesn't work for you, right? So when you are looking at other students in your class um, and trying to copy what they're doing, how they're studying, like if you look at someone in your class who seems to be really successful with their exams and like they're passing all their exams, if you look at them and try to study in the way that they are, it might not work for you. Mm -hmm. You have to adapt it for how your brain works because all of our brains would work in a different way, right? So um, a great example is uh, me and my best friend Kelly in nursing school. So she is very much a, um, she's just a rock star at clinical, like complete rock star at clinical. Um, anything you give her like skills wise or clinical wise, like she can do it. And she's so good with patients. And um, she just was very, very good with the hands-on stuff. Me, on the other hand, I had to literally retake every single skills check off that I did in nursing school. I just could not pass those things the first time. I'm not very good at the hands-on thing. I'm very good at like the academic things. I was very good at concept maps. I was very good at understanding um, how pathophysiology works and how things work in the body. Um, you know, which is, I'm very good at teaching it. I'm very good at breaking these difficult concepts down into step-by-step -step processes for you to follow. That is my gifting. Mm -hmm. But for Kelly in uh, nursing school with me, like we paired up, we were study buddies because she had the skill side and the like the soft skill side. She had the the hands on stuff. So she really helped me out in the skills lab and clinical. And I helped her out a lot with the like lecture class and the academic stuff. Um, we made a really good team. And so, you know, also that's a good tip, like finding those people. Like, don't try to study it in a way that someone else studies, but find someone in your class who you can link up with who can kind of fill that gap for you. You know, if you're like me and struggle with skills, find someone who's really good at skills. Um, if you're like Kelly and struggle with, like, the lecture content, find someone who's really good at the lecture content to break it down for you. Or join our community. That's what we do. <laughs> so it's really, you, you have to fill in those gaps. Like, you do have to do both. Obviously, you have to rocket skills, you have to pass your skills, you have to pass your exams. So you do need to figure out a way to manage both of those things. Definitely. Yeah, because you can't just, you can't just forsake one of them, obviously. You can't just not pass clinical because you won't pass <laughs> nursing school, obviously. <laughs> so, but yeah, yeah, that's the real main thing is know what your strengths are, but also mm -hmm. use everything, overlap. Uh, just whatever you can do to reinforce your learning of the material. Yes. And that's why we really suggest a lot the teaching other people because that's really critical thinking on the fly. Mm -hmm. That's really try getting the concepts, breaking it down to a level that a layperson can understand it. Yes, that, huge. it that is really, really big. So definitely if you have not tried that, definitely mm -hmm. try that. It, you know, it combines everything together and you're able to learn better that way 100%. so that is great um someone asked about tutor hours and yes. when they are so our tutor hours inside our community currently are mondays and thursday evenings uh i it's at five am i right on this five pacific eight eastern so yes. mondays and thursdays at five pacific right, yeah. eight eastern at night and then also you guys our members, if you are not able to attend a tutor hour, that's okay. We have something amazing for you. Um, we actually have a tutor form up inside the community. You can submit questions anytime. Like sub if you are studying at 2 a.m. in the morning, submit your question to us, okay? And a nurse on our team will get back to you within 24 hours with a step-by-step -step breakdown to answering your question. And actually, now that you mentioned tutor form, that just gives me... A brand new idea, brand new, right on the spot. So nice, Go brand for new it. idea is with the tutor form. We want you to also give us as much information about how you're breaking it down in your mind. Mm -hmm. Write down yes. what your thought process is on the topic, and 
uh, give us as much information as possible on what you think the answer is, etc. Especially dose calc, like all all your steps and things, and write it down so that we can help you the best way possible. So that we can exactly see, okay, this spot right here, everything yes. else is great. This spot right here, this is this is where. Uh, you can improve on a little bit. And we're so good at doing that and too, like pinpointing that. Not only that, but that's another mode of learning, right? That's writing it down again. That's thinking mm -hmm. through it. That's critically thinking through it. And you might even find that as you're writing it out, you find the answer. It's like, oh, that doesn't that's make sense. It. That's it right there. <laughs> or at least yeah. as you're doing it, it's it's another reinforcement of, okay, this is, this is how I'm learning. This is how I'm thinking. So definitely use the tutor form as a different mode of learning. Just Okay, t t teach our tutor. This is what I think this is. Is this is this is how this works? This is yes. how this works all the way through, and and submit that, and our tutor will look at it and say, "Oh, great job, good." That's I perfect. love that. If, if, even if you just need to double check, right? Yes. If you want to submit, like the tutor form, you guys inside the community is a fabulous place to send us your care plans, send us your dose count questions, send us an NCLEX problem that you're stuck on, um, send us any question that you have from your lecture class. Um, Nicole, the other day, she was going over, uh, a lot of the hormones, um, that are happening in, in the brain. Um, that was on a, a tutor call, uh, probably two or three weeks ago now, like anterior pituitary, posterior pituitary things. Um, you know, if you have questions about those things, like we can write it out for you. Like we can draw it out for you. Um, that's what we're here for. Mm -hmm. So if you need help with care planes, if you need help with concept maps, if you need help with pathophysiology, like this is what we do. Um, okay. What's our next question? I well, hope the one yes. that, yeah. Yeah. So what we were talking about our tutor form. And again, I just want to touch on this a little bit because oh, yeah, yeah. Hafso was saying that they're struggling with math, especially calculate doses, calculations, how to study for it and what the tips are. And there is a very simple six process step to yes. go through when learning dose calc. Dose calc is kind of that that monster in the closet or underneath your bed that it's it's scary, but it yeah. doesn't need to be. It does not need to be. It does this is one of the topics. It does not need to be as hard as you're making it out to be. Yes. It's a very straightforward process. It's not calculus. No. It's not high level uh, uh, yeah. math about trying to find the gravity or speed of light or whatever. <laughs> it's very straightforward. Mm -hmm. multiplication division that's it and you get to use a calculator and you get to use a calculator right? so really the main thing is following a simple process that you can follow which we give you no matter what the problem is mm -hmm. and that's yeah. the way to do it so we have our six step process that is very straightforward you follow that and it works and right? you will get every single dose count question right on your exams if you follow our six step process, mm -hmm. like those have you definitely seen gets me at times. Yeah. yeah. So follow the six step process. So you guys, um, if you go to nursing school of success.com forward slash dose calc, right? Is that the one? Yes. Okay. Yep. Yeah. That'll uh, the get link is there. in my bio on Instagram. Check out the, uh, dose oh. calc cheat sheet. Oh yeah. Indiana Jones. I got your dose calc box. It was so helpful. I'm glad. Yes. So we have our dose calc box with our We've got tons of practice problems inside the Nursing SOS membership community. We have a whole dose calc course. You guys, no one teaches dose calc like we do. Like, literally, no one. And I don't understand it. Like, they should. I wish people would. <laughs> you know, I wish people would teach. Like, because it doesn't have to be this complicated. Like, I wish that in nursing schools, they actually just taught you how to do dose calc. But they don't. They just give you these questions and they say, figure it out which is not helpful, right? So we're here to teach it to you. Don't freak out about dose calc. We're here to walk you through it. Like it's really not as complicated as your school is making it out to be. Like we are going to walk you through exactly how to do it. Um, yes, dimensional analysis. Now don't get caught up in that word dimensional analysis. Um, it just means that it's the easiest way to do dose calc. Like we teach you how to do dimensional analysis. Yes. Um, but that's kind of a scary phrase. Um, I like to call it the railroad track method. Like we just literally like it's plug and play. We, we walk you through exactly where to put your numbers. And then all you have to do is multiply and divide. That's it. Using a calculator. It is so easy. Okay. So easy. So, um, for a bedside assessment, will you start with a priority or start from head to toe? Depends on your floor. Depends on what you're doing. Depends on the patient status. This is why, um, 
you know, in room handoffs are very nice because <laughs> you can assess your patient right there when you do shift report at the bedside, bedside handoffs. Um, then you're able to <laughs> prioritize your patients that way. Um, perfect. That's the only way I've learned. I've looked into it because I got stuck at times and it's so, so easy. Like you guys, if you're not doing dimensional analysis, when you do dose calc, like I don't even know how you're passing. Like don't do the formulas. Do not use formulas for dose calc in nursing school. Here's why you guys, this is so, so important, man. I need to do like a whole YouTube video on formulas and why they don't work. When you start nursing school, when you're in fundamentals, when you're in even med surge one, your nursing school is going to give you a whole bunch of formulas to use. But the problem is, as you progress through your nursing program, those formulas don't work anymore. When you get into titrations and heparin drips and Pitocin, good gravy Pitocin, those formulas will break. They, it will not work. When you have like multiple conversions going on at the same time, like your formulas will not work. So you need a better way. And that better way is how we teach you <laughs> inside our community, um, inside our dose calc box, on you, like we teach you these things. So definitely go to um, nursingschoolofsuccess.com forward slash dose calc, grab the cheat sheet. Okay. The link is in my bio on Instagram. Maybe Matthew can put it in YouTube. <laughs> I can, I can, I guess I can do that. There's also, obviously, like you said, there, there's a lot of practice questions in our community. Mm -hmm. uh, definitely go there. There's a lot of yep. even more practice questions in printed format if you like the printed format. And there's a bunch of, other fun goodies in the dose calc box. Yes. Um, so that's at nursingschoolofsuccess.com slash shop. Yes. Right. Oh, so. hi, Christina. Good morning. I'm sorry. I missed you. I didn't show you out yet. Hi, Jessica. Good morning. But uh, I think probably the first place to go if you want to just yeah, kind dose of calc. check it out is the dose calc cheat sheet that we mm -hmm. have for you. Yes. There you go. And our subscription, yes, is monthly. So, um, or, or yearly if you want. Um, so it's $49 a month or $4.90 per year. And you guys, I mean, this is not like, like we're saying, like, this is not a, we just give you a video and let you figure it out yourself. Absolutely not. Like our customer service for our community. I mean, it is just outstanding. I mean, it is stellar. It is like, you can't even compare it to anything else. Like we literally hold your hand through nursing school. If you have a question, send it to us. We will answer it. If you want to jump on a coaching call or our community call or a tutoring call or <laughs> these There's AMAs, a lot like, of calls, apparently. We have a lot of calls every week inside the community. Like, if you need help, get help. We're here. Like, mm -hmm. this is where we're here. And then, Matthew, you mentioned this last week that, like, when you get into the community, like, actually use it. <laughs> yes. You guys, okay? Like, yeah. use it. Because, like, this is not just the thing where we give you a video, even though, like, yeah, sure. There's hundreds of step-by-step -step nursing lectures inside our community. Like you get all the videos, you mm -hmm. get all the study guides, you get all the cheat sheets, which is great. But also if you have questions about it, if you leave lecture class feeling confused, if you had a question about clinical or whatever, mm -hmm. ask us, we're here. Um, is the tutoring session free? So when you're inside the community, it's it, all members have access to it. So all of our members have access to it. So when you are inside our nursing us membership community, you get tutoring. That's just what we do. <laughs> like it's awesome. So yes, so. I, I think that that is a point to really stress is really use the resources. There's a mm -hmm. lot of resources in there. Some people in the past have even uh, emailed us saying, there's so much, there's too much information in here. What do I do? And they can be overwhelmed. And that's, I mean, there's a lot in there for you, but don't be overwhelmed. Don't um, be worried. We have a whole community out there. We have our community forum. Just, just get in there and get encouragement there, but really use the resources and yes. don't let it become like a gym membership. Yep. You know what I'm talking about, right? That you think that as long as you subscribe to a gym, that magically you'll get in good <laughs> get in shape get in shape right? just by having a gym membership and Doesn't unfortunately work that way. that's not how it works nowadays well, so yeah. <laughs> it's the same way with with the membership community is yes we have all the resources in there we have everything that you need in order to succeed but you still need to put in the work yes and you can do it like we are totally yeah. here for you 
Um, Christina, when you were in nursing school, were there any students that did not have a study partner mm -hmm. and still managed to do well? Um, I'm doing my best to get a study partner and so far, no luck at all. So yes, yes. I mean, we, uh, we talked to uh, students inside our community, the same thing, Nuru, like we have members who are in the same boat, which is why they're inside the community. Like you are, you know, that's why we're here. Um, because our team and the other students in the community can be your study partner. Mm -hmm. jump on the tutor it's, calls like that i mean that's we fill in that gap for you um it can which be is tough. Why it's so helpful. even even like i mean we really pushed and really fleshed out the community part of that the forum part of it during 2020 yeah and if you don't know what happened during 20 then i can't help you but um during 2020 there was something that happened that <laughs> hurt a lot of people <laughs> and made it a lot more difficult for people yeah. to talk face to face Yes. Which is kind of weird. But anyway, <laughs> that's beside the point. So if you we don't have know a what fantastic happened, community. Yeah, that's what happened. And because of that, we said, well, we can be that. We can mm -hmm. be that gap. So, yes, yes. I, w I would still say, yeah, still try and find a study partner. Definitely try and find a study partner. But also, mm -hmm. we can be your study partners, too. Yes. So, definitely post in the community. I've seen some of your posts. Like but, you yeah, do. just po post like you do. Get on and, the tutor calls, and, tutor yes. forms, new route. Just ask us, like. Like, you know, we're here. We're a hundred percent here. Um, real quick, we have a few minutes. I do want to hit on the question that so many students have. What should I be doing over the okay. summer? Yes. And we can talk we should talk about this more, um, probably on Wednesday or next week. Oh yes, you guys, I'm sorry. We should have mentioned. Um, the nursing SS membership community is closed. I know some of you just went mm. and checked on it. It is closed right now. Um we only open enrollment a few times a year. And the reason we do that is because we are so 100% like all in on our current students. Uh, we do not keep it open all the time because getting new students in all the time is it's a lot. It's just a lot. We yeah. like to focus on our current members. Um, so an enrollment only opens a few times a year. So make sure that when it does open that you join. Yeah. Right so away. we actually just closed an enrollment so um, session or launch or whatever you want to call it um it, last week we had one so definitely it is closed right now but we have their vip list definitely join that mm -hmm. uh you'll be updated as soon as it does open yes right and then um, get in on that yeah so get on the vip wait list to know when enrollment opens again yeah. all right so um we've had a lot of questions about like will it open for the fall yes it will open for the fall yes yeah. all right so so uh, we don't have specific dates set yet, but yes, we will be opening for the fall. So make sure that you join the VIP waitlist um, to get to get on that, so that you are, you know, you get emailed right when it opens. So make, just make sure that you join because, I mean, man, it's it's so tough because, like, yeah, over the weekend, our email inbox, my DMs on Instagram, like everyone's asking to get in, but it's closed. So mm -hmm. make sure um, that you join right away when it does open. And a little uh, insider tip, I guess. Little insider tip, um, because enrollment is closed right now. We actually just revamped the whole membership. It's Everyone brand in, new. The, in the membership knows this that it is it is brand new. Um, unfortunately, what I did not update actually is the video in front of the waitlist or the VIP list. So the video there is actually outdated. So I am going to be this week updating the the waitlist, the VIP waitlist page with probably a video of a little bit of sneak peek of what it does look like in the membership now because mm. it is different. Yeah. Um, it's so totally updated. We are, totally brand new. we are doing a lot uh, within the membership and we're, we've launched a brand new membership, but we're, mm. there's still more things coming. Yes. So definitely get on the wait list. And, uh, that um, is a fabulous question. Yeah, HESI specialty there. exams. Do we provide resources for HESI? Um, and I, at the same time, I'm going to lump ATI in there too. Yes, we have so many students. The Mr. Lazy, hello. We have <laughs> so many members. Like I would say probably, what, 60, 70% of our community are students who are on either HESI or ATI they're, because they're so common. Um, yes, 100%. Like we have an entire pediatrics course, OB, mental health, critical care. We have all the med surge stuff in there. We have fundamentals. Like we have all, all the things. So, like, it's all there um, to help you pass your HESI ATI exam. Um, 
I, I think we should, okay, so I really just, like, yep. really quickly, I want to hit what you guys should be doing over the summer in order to prep. Uh, do, do other people but, wonder about this, about that, that what should you be doing over the summer? But also, like, I think we should talk about this more in depth on Wednesday. Yes, we will talk about it more on Wednesday. Um, so, just real quick, um, when you are prepping for nursing school, mm -hmm. um, there's two tracks that you want, that you will be taking. Whether you are brand new to nursing school or you are returning to nursing school. If you are brand new to nursing school, um, there is really one main thing, a couple main things you need to focus on, really. You need to make sure that you are getting your life organized and that you have a good time management plan. You have to make sure that you have a solid study plan in place that actually works. And you need to be a master at dose calc. Those are the three things you absolutely want to do before you start your nursing program, okay? We'll talk more about this on Wednesday. Um, if you are a re returning nursing student, so let's say you did um, your first year of nursing student this, uh, first year of nursing school this year, and then now you're returning for year two in the fall. What you will want to do is get with someone, an upperclassman, someone who is a term or two ahead of you and ask them, what that term looks like for you so that you can get a head start. There were several times where I um, like talked to an upperclassman and said, yeah, hey, can you give me your syllabus? Like what, what did we learn? What papers do I have to write? What care plans do I have to do and all these things? And I got a really, really um, good head start with a lot of those things before the term started. So the more you can set yourself up for success, the better off you're gonna be. Um, so we're going to talk more about that on Wednesday, simply because it's such a huge topic. Like, how do you prepare for nursing school? Um, how do you prepare for a new term in nursing school? You really, um, you really don't want to start behind, right? Um, sorry, I'm just joining. My connection is bad. You said you will open again in the fall. We're going to open enrollment again for the fall. So with enrollment, does that mean that we can't purchase a subscription? We'd like to see your videos and dosage. Yes, you cannot purchase a subscription right now. Enrollment is closed. Mm -hmm. So we do close it for the vast majority of the year. Um, enrollment does open a few times per year. So you have to get on that VIP wait list in order to join when it does open. Because that's not open all yeah, the time. Yeah, that, that's really the best way to know when it opens is to be on that VIP wait list. Mm -hmm. uh, so definitely get on that and you'll be the first to know yes. when it opens. So uh, mm -hmm. I'm glad that you guys are interested Open and the emails def <laughs> definitely yeah uh definitely be up your list and mm -hmm. add us to your contacts so you make sure that you get it in your inbox yes. that'd be great too i have problems with fluids and electrolytes mm -hmm. like when and how to use them yes uh we have an entire fluids and electrolytes course inside the community which is amazing mm -hmm. um we should see this sooner <laughs> i love how much you all are willing to help yes okay so that's the thing like we hear it all the time i know i'm so sorry um, I wish there was a better way to do it, but you guys, like, seriously, like, our program is so different than any other programs that you see out there in the world to help you with nursing school, um, because we really walk you through everything. Like, we're here to hold your hand. We don't just give you videos and study guides like other programs do. You get that, sure, but we go a way above and beyond that. Like we have the tutor form, we have the tutor hours, we have coaching calls, we have our community calls. Like there are so many live sessions every week for you to join, to get help, um, submit your questions to us. We walk you through it. So it is not just a do it yourself kind of thing. When you join our community, we come alongside you to to help you through those things. So that's why we keep it closed because it's just it's we're here for our members who are in the community. We want to make sure that we are, you know, giving you guys as much value as possible that we are helping you in the best way we can. And so like that is really our priority is our members. Our members are Yeah, our that is priority. that is our priority. We we like we said we just launched a new membership site and there are more things coming and in order yeah, to do that, we need to focus our time on that too. Just like Guess what? Just like studying nursing Just school, like studying fo nursing focusing school. your time. <laughs> so that's what we're doing. So definitely get in on that. Join the wait list. We'll let you know. Yes. And open the emails, okay? Yes. Like read my emails so you don't miss it. Because <laughs> it'll happen. It does happen where you accidentally miss it. So don't miss it, okay? All right, um, friends. On Wednesday. Yes, Sorry, so, you were going to say No, no. I'm just saying that, okay. yeah, definitely 
keep joining us for our lives. We we definitely answer some things here as well. Like we said, uh, our talk a little earlier today about modes of learning. That was a great one. Thanks, Nirut, for bringing that up. Woohoo! Uh, so we did talk about that. We also talked a tiny bit about doses calculations here. Mm -hmm. And again, what will you'll be doing over the summer, but we're going to circle back around on that. So what should you be doing over the summer? How to prep for nursing school, whether it's your first time or whether you're returning from the summer and need to shake off the rust a little bit. Yes. That's fine. That's cool. Um, it should be opening for, well, it might, it might be around that time or after. So just, just watch your emails, Tania. It's going to open in the fall. So make sure that you join. Do not worry. Do not we worry. We will be it's here fun. for you. We will be here for you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and it also like, I mean, if we have a ton of interest, we could open earlier too. So we'll, we'll play it by ear. We'll, we'll see. Keep the so, interest up. Tell yeah. your friends. Tell your friends. <laughs> <laughs> like, if we get a ton of DMs, if we get a ton of emails, like, okay, sure, fine. Because we'll, we'll figure it out. Because this, this we're just here too, for you guys, it, you know? It, it is really fun seeing people in the community that are, like, classmates that are in there, too. Yes, it happens that all it, the time. <laughs> that is really fun, too. And it, it kind of almost improves improves everything, too, because, like, you, you guys can talk about exactly what's going on in your class and yeah. what resources to use. So, yeah, definitely. Share it with your friends. Share it with your friends, and we'll get, <laughs> get, everyone in. We'll get some interest up, and if yeah. you get enough interest up, then we can open early. That's fine. Yeah, that's fine. Um, <laughs> it's just, it is a lot of work. That's the thing. It's, I posted about it on stories last week, because, like, Matthew and I were just totally exhausted, because it is a lot to open, but now we get to help our members, and, like, you guys, we are all in on helping you pass nursing school. So, um, on Wednesday, we're going to talk about how to, um, how, how to prepare for next term. Okay. Whether you are, um, in, uh, just starting nursing school in the fall, if you are not in nursing school now, if you are just starting nursing school in the fall, or if you are a returning student. So let's talk about that on Wednesday, because that seemed to be a really big question. And then we were totally going to talk about <laughs> search today. But then y'all had really great questions, so we did it. <laughs> hey, yes. Chris, nice so to see you. So that's the point of this, is to ask us anything. So yes. ask us anything, and we will be talking about those things mm -hmm. on Wednesday. Yes. Maybe sprinkle in some med surge, some, some NCLEXI things as well. NCLEXI so. things as well. Um, Kathleen, I'm so glad um, that you're here. Thanks for joining us. Uh, yeah, Nursing SS members, there's several things that we have coming for you. Uh, we have a lot of members on right now. Hey, you guys, by the <laughs> way, I see you. Um, so nursing access members, we have a lot of stuff coming for you. So please, please keep an eye on your emails. Um, I emailed you yesterday with our call schedule for the week. So you now have all of our, all of the calls, you know, you have the calendar for the week. Um, we hope to see you on a call this week. Uh, Especially the coaching call. Definitely. Yes. We have a coaching call Jumping tomorrow on night call. on yeah. Tuesday. Uh, so I will be pulling you on video. We will be talking through things that you need help with in nursing school. Um, if you're overwhelmed or confused or unmotivated or if whatever you're dealing with, um, I would love to coach you through those things. So we have our coaching call tomorrow night inside the community. Shout out to Brit Brit. Hi, Brit. Brit Brit. Brit Brit. Right? Yeah. I graduated with my BSM last week and I must say the community really helped. Yay. I'm so glad. Yes, it's pretty incredible. We've had so many students, so many of our members say that they graduated, they're studying for their NCLEX. I'm so excited for you guys. This is so great. This is exactly why we do what we do, um, to help you pass. Uh, someone asked, um, like, what what our uh, success rates were for nursing school oh, um, last week. And it's a fabulous question. And, like, I mean, well, like, our students pass nursing school. Like, we, like... It just, it, that's, that's why we do what we do. Like, that's why we have our tutor hours. That's why we have our tutor form. That's why we have all these resources for you because we literally hold your hand through everything. Ah, such a great question, Gwendolyn. <laughs> I would love to answer that. I'm sorry, but we're running out of time. We're like 15 minutes over now. Best way to learn medications with side effects. <laughs> it's such a great question. Um, cause I have, here, a, I'll type that I down. have a fabulous oh, answer here. to that. I will even copy your name. Thank there you, Gwendolyn. Go. Copy. Setting me up for and paste. our next call. And then we'll... Fabulous question. So, well, while we're here, for anyone new here and does not know, we do go live for our Ask Us Anything, what you're just doing right now, every Mondays and Wednesdays at E-Time. What time? At, at A-Time. <laughs> at 7 a.m. Pacific, uh, 10 Eastern. Yes. So, yes, so, join us. 
Uh, subscribe, hit the bell, follow, etc. Ask us your questions. We love yeah. to hear from him, and we love Thanks. answering them. So, Gwendolyn, I put you down uh, with Wednesday, best we'll way try. to learn side effects or medications with yep. side effects with them. Yes, because uh, we have a fabulous process for learning medications. You guys, okay, theme of this call today, don't make nursing school complicated. It does not need to be mm -hmm. as complicated as your schools, as your instructor, as other classmates in your class, as they're trying to make it to be. So Gwendolyn, pharmacology does not need to be as complicated as you have heard it to be, okay? Um, we have a very defined uh, process for studying pharmacology and learning pharmacology, including the side effects. Just makes it so much easier. Um, so I would love to walk you through that, um, but that will probably be like Wednesday or Monday on the live, okay? And it's also inside the community, of course. So, um, so fun. All right. Thank you guys for joining us. Sorry, we're running late because you guys have great questions great, today. Great, great questions. Thanks for being here. Thank you. Join us on Wednesday. Yes. The questions that we did not get to, we will get to on Wednesday. Or Monday. Or Monday. Depending on how many more questions you have. There All you right. go. It's Thank good. you so much, you guys. We'll see you on Wednesday. See you. Okay, bye.